Hello guys, welcome back to another uh, City Skylines tutorial with me Skibit. Uh, well, I wanna show you how to make beautiful screenshots. Well, uh, to do so, you will need uh, two modes. Uh, well, at least in my opinion, you'll need two modes. One is called Time Warp. Uh, you can see it on the screen and also you can find it at the description of the video. And the second one is called Dynamic Resolution. Uh, also can see uh, and also uh, can be found at the description of the video uh, The time warp well guys, I think every one of you got, uh, have it maybe already uh, It is it could be fine here as soon, uh, after you uh, just subscribe to it You can be you can find it here dynamic night settings. Yeah, and this is essential because you can uh, play with the light and This as you can see here. Uh, it helps you a lot to, to take beautiful screenshots uh, you you can make the light to come from an angle other angle uh, a longitude yeah you have longitude latitude and it's only up to you you can also set the sun intensity yeah how do you wanna uh, how do you prefer it I will leave uh, this here at the at 12 o'clock let's say yeah and uh, well this is up to you guys you don't have to do exactly what i do here i'm just telling you that this is one of the most important things to play with the light and the second uh, mode that i was telling you about is called dynamic resolution you can access it by pressing the f f10 button from your keyboard uh, at this point my FPS it looks like this because I have a map full of uh, things and uh, well yeah uh, the FPS is kind of low um, by pressing it, the F10 button you will uh, get this uh, pop-up window so you can uh, at this point you have 100% uh, resolution yeah you can play with this uh, bar and go to 300 400 or 500 uh, the resolution but uh, well i usually take photos at 300 resolution after i uh, choose 300 i go for apply okay of course you just wait you saw uh, it changed a little bit uh it looks much much better if we go to 400 but the fps will go low if we go to 400 resolution it will look even better yeah but uh, let's not get uh, that crazy let's uh, pause the game at least uh, let's go to 300 and apply again yeah to make this disappear go again at 10 button it will disappear it will remain as it was before so for these guys go to the free camera mode well, set up your angle that you want to go to do, yeah, I don't know, doesn't matter, the angle it's not that important uh, for me right now to show you. Uh, press the F12 button to take the screenshot with your uh, Steam, yeah, uh, and that screenshot was taken. Uh, this is one way to get a beautiful uh, screenshots. The uh, another way to make a beautiful screenshot it is uh, by going to the options, and from depth of field type you go and go for high, and this is the bar to choose the depth of field amount. Yeah, I usually keep it like this, and I will show you now what this does. If you look behind. Uh, you'll see a little blurry, the trees are a little bit blurry. Let's go for depth of field a little bit bigger, higher. I will go to the maximum at this point. Apply and close. Yeah, let's go. If, you, if I go behind, you'll see it gets blurry. Um, when, you, when you are going to use... Um, uh, see, it is blurry now. When you, I'm uh, when I'm using the um, dynamic resolution at 300, for example, yeah, uh, you can see that it is blurry, but not that blurry. First, let's take a, a, a picture. Yeah, I took a screenshot. Uh, if we disable uh, this dynamic resolution and go back to 100, eh, 100 today, 100. 
okay apply now you will see that it is much more blurry but it gets that uh, i don't know that vibe that it is uh, it, it pops out pretty damn good it pops out pretty damn good and uh, the buildings the trees everything it looks quite different another screenshot taken See, for example, from this distance, it, uh, this tower looks pretty cool, Be behind it is blurry, the colors and stuff, yeah? Well, guys, uh, and this is the way to take screenshots. I saw some comments, I saw people uh, on Reddit, on Facebook, on Twitter, that were a little bit impressed uh, by some of my screenshots. Uh, well, they didn't know that you can use this uh, dynamic resolution in your advantage. I really do and highly advise you to use it only when you take screenshot, uh, unless you have a very powerful uh, um, computer, of course. Uh, some other things that help you to have a very good and nice view and nice uh, colors. It's the LUT that you are using and the, the theme. Yeah. All these help you to have a nice game, nice screenshots and stuff. But again, it's up to you. It's up to you to find the best uh, light from here. The best uh, colors and stuff. It's only about you guys. I won't tell you exactly how you can take it and how, how to use this advantage because it depends on your uh, way of taking on what are you taking photos and so on your theme your LUT and stuff like this so guys if you did find this useful please leave a comment uh, or hit the like button subscribe to see more tutorials of city skylines and also to see uh, the series that I'm playing for city skylines and even other kind of games banished uh, and few others that will be uh, pretty soon on my uh, YouTube channel so guys, thanks for watching, hope it helps, uh, if you already know that then, well, thanks for watching, uh, thanks for watching anyway, and uh, see you next time guys, in a uh, new episode or tutorial, and uh, well, keep it up guys, have fun and enjoy it, I salute you.